All right, today's Subway restaurants in Salt Lake City are helping feed the homeless. It's part of their 11th annual Day of Giving. And it's a big boost or big boost to people who need it. So joining us this morning is Tracy Redding here from Subway and Chris Crosswhite from the Rescue Mission of Salt Lake. Guys, thanks for being with us hey, today. Thanks for having thanks us. For having Appreciate us. it. How much food are we talking here? Well, the, today we're giving out over 1,200 sandwiches at uh, Pioneer Park mm -hmm. just to help out, you know, give back to the community and do our part to help out. That has a lot of sandwiches. That's a it, lot of food. It is a lot it of food. Lot of food. <laughs> How many people are you trying to feed there with 1,200 sandwiches? Well, hopefully 1,200 people, but, you know, it just depends on how many people show up. And, you know, usually we have a really good turnout. I don't think we ever have food left over. Well, that's good. So it's <laughs> at least getting the people who need it. Chris, how much of a need is there for people like this who are using that food and relying on things like this? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, people have to eat every day. Mm -hmm. And um, we have approximately 3,000 homeless people in the state of Utah. About 80% are right here in the Wasatch Front. So that's about 2,400 people um, right around the Salt Lake City and expanding area. And those, you know, those men, women, and children have to eat three meals a day every day. And they come to the Rescue Mission of Salt Lake, um, a lot of them, to receive breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And Subway here is just blessing us and helping us uh, serve hopefully 1,200 people. Mm -hmm. um, we like to give seconds away, so maybe about a thousand people, the, um, just to bless them and, and give them a meal that they would otherwise not be able to, to have. Yeah, I think this is obviously people in this demographic, <laughs> just, they go unnoticed so often. And yeah. you have people like Subway helping out. Just, it's not obviously something that's happening every day of the year, but it is happening today. It is. They're getting the meals, some of the things that they need, and I know it's even more than that. Yeah, you know, we, we try and help out whenever possible. It's just always good for us to give back to the community who's given us so much and uh, over the years, and it's just, it's just a great thing for us to give back. And, um, you know, anybody that can come down, help out with, you know, donate toiletries, anything like that, is always welcome to come down. And there's a lot of other things going on down there today. So. Yeah, I saw that. I know you're doing haircuts as well, in addition to giving out free sandwiches. Well, we're, we're not, but, you know, <laughs> that, it's going to be provided. Sure. <laughs> So. so it's <clears throat> it's really um, a subway day of giving a picnic with a purpose, mm -hmm. and uh, the draw is a meal, and just being blessed with a subway sandwich. But then we have things at the park like job placement services, housing referrals, inpatient recovery services, haircuts. We're even doing just fun things where we have some staff for the rescue mission who will be painting nails. If anybody wants, you know, men and women, if they want their nails done, they can come down and just have fun and, and be blessed, like, like having your nails done. We have letters home. So if people want to write a letter where a phone call may be a little invasive, they can sit down with a staff member, write a letter home, and we'll mail that letter for them. Now, it seems like a lot of the things you're talking about are, are so simple, mm -hmm. right? A sandwich and getting your hair cut or your nails done. But how far do things like this with Subway today, how far does that go with the people that they're helping? Yeah. So our partnership with Subway and the, the Subway Day of Giving is really just the beginning because their franchisees also say if there's a person graduating our program who we would refer to them, they'll, they'll consider giving them a job. They'll guarantee them an interview, give them a job. So a haircut. Um, respect, dignity goes a long way with a person walking in a door and applying for a job. And if they look totally disheveled, if they don't have the right clothes, if they haven't cut their hair in months or years, then they're not going to get that job. So dignity, respect, confidence, a haircut, a shower, clean clothes go, can go a very long way in changing a person's life and helping them out of homelessness. We hope they do. And of course, it's part of Subway's big day of giving. You see the information online right there. It starts today at 11 a.m. here at Pioneer Park in downtown Salt Lake. We have the information. You can learn more about it on our website, abc4.com slash GMU. Talking this morning with Tracy Redding, Chris Crosswright with the Rescue Mission, and of course, Subway. Guys, thanks for being with us today. Hey, thanks for having us. We appreciate it. You betcha. Emily, over to you.